Hello everyone, welcome back to the grind. Okay, we're gonna play our usual opening as black here. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Typical stuff here. Pushes e5. I think he's just trying to pre prevent a bishop d6. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, I have not been playing very well this week. Uh, I'm just going to be completely completely honest. I started off the week at 936 and I clawed my way back down to 906. So I'm down like 30 elo this week. A bit rough. A bit rough. But let's think about this. I'm debating between G6 and F5. I want to get the dark square bishop out somewhere in castle. Also tempted to play c5. I don't want to go f5 in case he brings his bishop out. It's going to be really awkward. Um, I don't want to get rid of this e pawn here. This also just attacks e5. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised if he goes d4, I guess. I think g6 is a bit of a mistake. Yeah. I think I want to. Go C5, maybe. I think I'm going to push C5 so I can at least get the dark square bishop out if he decides to take. I don't think he'll take, but... While the opponent's conjuring up his next move. Don't really want to stack the pawns on the C file. I'd rather have an open C file. So. His knight is still pinned here. Well, you want to do that, do you? What am I missing here? Trade the bishop off. And it's a bit of a trap. I think I have to bring my knight back to e7, unfortunately. Could also do something really strange and push f6. See, I think what he's trying to do is bait my bishop out. Because if he baits my bishop out, he gets his pawn out here on c5. Um, so part of me also wants to just kind of move the queen too. I don't think I have to take this. Could also just trade queens off. I could take his knight, he can take my bishop. Those are all viable options. Um, he takes here. That might be a mistake. I 
Yeah, but letting him get his pawn out here without the dark square bishop, I felt like would have been much worse. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, so while the opponent's uh, making their move, um, I'm not going to reach a thousand chess elo today. But I will reach a thousand something else today. Well, actually, not I will. Uh... We did reach a thousand something else today. The channel officially got to a thousand subscribers today, which is pretty nutty if you think about it. Yeah, it uh, kind of blows my mind to tell you the truth. Um, I can't believe how many people support this channel and support this little project here. It's uh, it's really something else, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when I started doing this whole thing, I didn't even imagine that one person was going to be interested in watching a monotone middle-aged man play chess. But uh, to my pleasant surprise, there's a handful of people that do, which is super cool. And I know a lot of you have been around like kind of from day one, which is uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, thanks everyone for the support and the thousand subscribers. It's pretty insane, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm being totally real here. Just go attack his queen here. He attacks the knight. Bit of a double attack. I wonder if I can just go attack his queen back. Can always develop. Can I protect both of these? No, I can't. Hmm. Can I go after his bishop or something? Well, I think the pawn is kind of done. So, well, I guess I'm making that move whether I want to or not. It's probably a fine time to castle. Yeah, I've been losing a, um, a lot of games this week just because I haven't castled. Um, or I... No, not even castle late. But yeah, most of the games I've lost is just because I haven't castled. So... Yeah, late castle syndrome, LCS is something that I get a lot more when I'm playing the Karo Khan, just because uh, the pawns kind of make it awkward to get the knight out to its natural square, so I feel like I have to make these extra knight moves before the bishop gets onto like a comfortable square. So that's how I'm coping with my LCS, at least. If he wants to take the pawn, so be it. I'll probably just castle and get the rook out to c8 here. Yeah, we saw that coming. Not even going to think twice about this.
Yep, yep. Two attackers there. It's fine. I want to just come back. Attack his queen. Attacking his queen this way. Eh, he just takes the knight. I lose a pawn there. I guess. Let's see how this goes. can attack his queen with e5. It's a bit of a one-threaded move. I can trade queens off. What to do? h6 maybe? Yeah, e5 seems like a fun move. <laughs> I'll let the knight get out here. Let the. Do I want to put the rook out here? e5. I do really like having this structure, but yeah, e5 is seems pretty fun. I don't know. I'm just going to attack the queen. Why not? I like all the queen harassment going on this game. It's been pretty cool. Probably get the rook out to e8 next or something. His knight is loose. Something to consider. It's actually defended. Um, I'm going to see maybe if he just doesn't notice this or something. I don't know how else he can... I think maybe what he's looking for is he's probably hoping I push the pawn up so he can jump his knight here. Um, uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, knight d4 seems bad for me. I actually like this uh, e5 pawn because it's uh, defending the two squares that his knight wants to jump to. So I think for now... I'll just go rook e8, sort of get a better position going for the rooks. And then my queen is being x-rayed by his queen. I probably want to support it with a rook just to be safe in case some shenanigans happen. Yeah, so now my queen is like double x-rayed, which I don't like. Mm. There's like four defenders on d4 here a bit rough and i gotta get my queen to a better spot this spot sucks now oh, that hangs a pawn Hmm. 
Dann ist okay. Look at that. I need to go harass his queen some more, but the knight is defending a7 here. So I might need to slide the rook back over to protect this pawn. Yeah, until his knight moves, I want to leave this pawn planted on e5 here. This knight is still loose, but... Okay. Still doesn't allow e5. I kind of just want to go a6, b5. Harass the queen some. Take some space in the center. Just gonna go try to harass his queen. She's a bit annoying. What's he setting up for here? This fork here. Maybe I move my queen here and just, uh, excuse me, maybe I move the knight and go harass his, uh, or prevent the fork with the rook on c8 here. Just think about this. So I go b5, he goes c5, I take, he takes, and I can take his knight back. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'm okay with that. Let's me get the rook out to e6 as well. Oh, did I just hang that? Oh, that was so dumb. That was really stupid. Can't believe I hung that. Mm, rough. Oh, and I just hung this pawn too. I'm playing very bad, very badly. <laughs> uh, man, I'm just playing piss poor. I believe I didn't see that. That's really silly. I should have went rook a8 a long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> uh,
I don't want to hang this pawn, but I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to hang this pawn. I can't protect it anymore. It's really awkward. Okay, five. Boom. Boom. And then he's just going to go somewhere else. And then he takes a pawn. No, I can't go rook a5. I definitely can't go rook a5. Where to go? I guess that's fine. I shouldn't have thought about that too hard. I'm just trying not to get x-rayed by this rook here, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm, is that not a free rook? I miss something here? Is he coming with check or something? No. Do I just get trapped here? My queen get trapped? I think my queen gets trapped, right? No, I lose a knight. Yeah, I can't protect the knight anymore. It's a really annoying knight. Uh, I don't want to lose my knight. Right, I'm going to just go offer the queen trade here. I think I get his knight back. If he decides to take here. Mm. I think I should have just went back to d6 here. I don't know what I was just thinking. I don't know why I'm so blind to this d6 square right now. It's kind of weird. Yep. I think he has to go a uh, d1. Pretty sure he had to go d1.
He's going to check me here. He's looking for the check here. I just I know it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> yeah. I'm still going to get checked here. I think I'm just going to go support this pawn this way. The king is really awkwardly placed. I think I have to get my king out here to g6. Just to prevent the check. Yeah, he's gonna be running his uh he's gonna be running his pawn down. I just need to be careful. Maybe I run my king over here to the center of the board. Hmm. This check is really annoying. See, in this particular position, I don't know if it's better to take the king over here to like g6 to avoid the harassment from the rook on this side of the board, or if it's better to go this way and try to help support the pawn that's getting close to uh, promotion. I'm just not sure what the best case is here. Like, I think I have a chance to run my king over here and support all this business and try to stop this pawn push. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm going to take a risk and just go for the support this side of the board. Th this pawn is like, it's going to be too destructive if he promotes. Maybe I just let him promote here. No, he's going to bring his rook over. I'm going to get checked on the back rank. Can't bring my rook down here because the knight's protecting it. I'm just gonna take a risk on this d8 move. I don't know. This might be a huge blunder, but I guess we'll find out. Not gonna be surprised if he brings his rook in down here. If, I think if he gets his rook out here to uh, f7, it's gonna be devastating for us.
Yeah, we're going to lose too many pawns. He goes f7. I've mentally pre yeah. <laughs> I've mentally prepared myself for defeat. <laughs> well, I move his dumb knight. Uh, I don't know. I get checked here. Jeez. Serious? Oh, wow. What a mate, bro. That's crazy. Well, either way, GG KG Olsen. I just want to see where this went wrong. I feel like I took a risk moving my king to the right that way. And uh, that probably wasn't the play, but I honestly, I just wasn't sure which way to go here. Yeah, it, it was a risk. Um, I didn't think about this open file with the rook here and how the pawns were going to get hit. But um, definitely did not expect mate in one here. Hmm. Where did this really go wrong? He played a big blunder. Yeah, he gave me a rook and then I just wasn't able to follow up. I don't know why I didn't just go back to d6 here. <laughs> um, I was so blind on d6 this whole game. Uh, I should have noticed that, but uh, see, I felt like if, oh no, because you know he couldn't even go rook d1 because that was just hanging. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I was struggling with this position here. Hmm. Oh well. Either way, uh, GG guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you in the next one. And thank you again for a thousand subscribers. So crazy. Can't believe it. Yep. Yeah, see you guys.